tragically, it remains the case that millions of children across the world lack the education, support and opportunity they need to thrive. The challenges they face, such as poverty, hunger and poor quality school systems, are enormous. And when children aren't learning, it affects all of us by perpetuating poverty, dividing societies and weakening economies. While the Teach for All network is changing the status quo by developing locally rooted, globally informed leadership in 60 countries to ensure that all children can fulfil their potential. And to look at the impact quality education can have, I'm very pleased to say we're joined by Chili Felix, Senior Strategic Advisor at Teach for All, this year's official Cybos charity, and Steve Storacci, Senior Vice President of the CGI's US East Operations. Guys, uh, make yourselves very welcome. It's uh, wonderful to have you here on Cybos <laughs> TV. Um, I'll start with you, Chili. Can you tell us what the Teach for All Global Network is? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, absolutely. So Teach as you sort of mentioned, is a global network of independent, locally-led organizations, partner NGOs, with a shared purpose of developing the collective leadership needed to, you know, ensure that kids are able to fulfill their potential. And really, I mean, I think you, you both articulated this already so well, which is kids face a lot of challenges. And so when we look at sort of what are the things that we can do to affect change, we just think you need leaders at every level of a system who are partnering with parents, students, with other community and leaders to sort of help to expand opportunity for all kids so that sh kids can shape a better future for themselves. Um, you know, in terms of Teach for All, we have a global organization that has a shared common approach. Each of our network organization partners is recruiting, selecting, training, and developing um, recent graduates and young professionals in each of their contexts, so each of these 60 countries, to teach in their nation's most under-resourced schools and become lifelong leaders for education. And just to maybe say, you know, what's exciting is we are almost 15 years into the global network and we're seeing some incredible gains, um, you know, across the United States, the United Kingdom, India, Nigeria, Peru, and many other places, you know, more than 74% of um, the young graduates who come in to teach, say on an education in one way or another. A lot of them become policy advocates, principals, uh, social entrepreneurs, all of them working together to sort of help create a collective vision for what's possible for kids. Um, and today, you know, the Teach for All Network is reaching uh, more than 1.1 million students. We have 15,000 teachers in 60 countries, and we have more than 80,000 alumni who are affecting change all over the world. Um, if you wanted to learn more, we're going to have a global conference coming up um, on October 27th through 30th. Uh, virtually so we can share more as well. Thank you. Okay, so something to note in the diary. But Steve Storacci, why is CGI focused on education as part of its social responsibility initiatives? Thanks, Juliet. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, have this uh, conversation and participate with Chills on this topic. Part of that answer really starts with um, our core values at CGI. So uh, we, we operate a little differently. We operate in a client proximity model that our, our professionals living and working where our clients are in, in communities. Uh, and the intent of that was really to create and promote an ownership culture and a commitment to our clients. But it, it naturally extends to the communities. And what we, what we see is that our professionals feel a really deep sense of ownership and commitment to the communities that they live and work in. And when you live in those communities and work in those communities, it's hard not to notice that not everyone is participating uh, in the opportunities that technology provides. There's, there's a gap. Uh, and so we don't see the diversity of the workforce you'd expect and want to see. And, and that's a missed opportunity, but it is an opportunity. So as a professional services firm, uh, we partner certainly with banks, uh, really, and, and other institutions and industries on their digital transformation initiatives. And what we see when we speak to our clients, and we, we spoke to over 1,700 of them this year in a, in a voice of customer program, when we ask them to name their top barrier to achieving digital strategies and innovation, almost half, 49%, cited access to talent. Uh, so when you combine a commitment to the communities we work in, the demand for talent from the industry and the underrepresentation of population in STEM careers, it's just, it's natural that education becomes a priority for, for CSR initiatives. Chile, you've already touched on some of the fantastic work that Teach for All does, but what are the most pressing issues that you guys are facing right now, especially given the pandemic of the last 18 months? 
Yeah, thank you so much for asking that question, Johnny. I mean, I think as we look ahead, you know, we have a 25 year pretty ambitious vision and, you know, to us, the most pressing um, need is really a greater investment in the local leadership. I mean, very much to what Stephen said around talent is just really need to invest in local leadership and local people. Uh, and let me explain, right? So over the last 18 months, more than 1.5 billion kids have at some point been driven out of school due to COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and that means that more than half of those kids were out of school for seven months or more, and some continue, right, according to the World Economic Forum. And even before the COVID-19 pandemic, Pandemic, education systems were not effectively serving students in the more marginalized communities, um, even in wealthy communities, actually. And so when we've seen sort of like the disruptions that have, have occurred because of the pandemic, you know, this is threatening the welfare of this generation of young people and their ability to be recruited, to go into these jobs, to work in tech and other, and other, and other sort of opportunities. Um, and so for this, you know, what we are seeing is that there's a real need to invest in local leadership. Um, you know, we are already seeing technology-based innovations make teaching and learning easier and more accessible. We're seeing, you know, we're we're, we're seeing our teachers focus on fostering student leadership and ownership of their learning and focusing on mental well-being and health. And so really what we're asking is, um, you know, sort of how do we ensure that there is not only investment in the current teachers in classroom, but a greater investment in local leaders across the ecosystem that touch students to help them make a change. Um, and let me just play out maybe one example to give to you in terms of sort of like, what is a local leadership that we're talking about, right? So one example is during the pandemic, access to uh, internet connection varied significantly from country to country and household to household. However, you know, global online penetration rate was only like 59% and much lower across South Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. In our network, we had uh, network alumni, meaning teachers who had been teaching more two years or who have become alumni or you know, social entrepreneurs, come together to create a Teaching Without Internet Alliance. They were working online. We're talking about more than a thousand teachers, right? Working online through WhatsApp uh, to share resources with each other on like, how can we make sure that we're you know, going to work with parents, teaching kids, going to supermarkets, doing lots of different things to ensure that kids who don't have connectivity were able to actually still be learning. And so what we're seeing is, given sort of this incredible energy that's happening and coming across from these local teachers and local alumni and local leaders, um, we just want more investment and a deeper investment in collective leadership. Um, and so, you know, for Teach for All, when we think about sort of where we are in our unique strengths, we're going to double down on the things that we think make a lot of sense and that we have been doing already. This means supporting the development of these incredible and extraordinary leaders, spreading shifts in teaching and learning. So again, thinking about how do we, what are we learning about te using, utilizing technology? What are we learning about teaching without internet, right? We want to deepen collaboration across borders. I think one of the things that's most interesting about education is that it is seen as something that is very localized. And yet what we are seeing is that solutions are shareable. That even though you might do something different in Nigeria and Peru, you can share that experience with somebody else in a different country and they can contextualize it and leverage that for themselves. Um, so, you know, for us, there's a huge investment in creating sort of this infrastructure, global infrastructure of people sharing and learning together. And then finally, for us, we also are really interested in sort of advocating for this greater investment to where influence this global education discussion. Um, thank you. Yeah, and, and so much is happening in that space. And Steve, let's let's go back, in fact, to something that Chile said a few moments ago within that pandemic response, the fact that the impact is such that you had some kids spending seven months out of school. So given that reality, what types of education initiatives is CGI engaging in? Because your work really is cut out for you, isn't it? It, it is. And uh, it's, it's great to listen to Chills. We have a lot of common uh, common commitments. You talked a little bit about the global initiatives and, and, and local leaders. And so let me touch on a little bit of that. So globally, we engage in lots of different types of initiatives. Uh, we've, we've stood up digital lit literary centers in um, literacy centers in India. Uh, we've uh, run CGI IT um, mobile app challenge for girls. Uh, we've participated in, in obviously funding university scholarships. And in some cases, we've got uh, training to employment programs. We'll take, uh, you know, we'll train uh, young adults, uh, right to employment programs. We've done that in France and the Czech Republic. And, and uh, there's one particularly uh, large um, initiative right here in the U.S., right here uh, in New Jersey. But one of our main initiatives is something we call STEM at CGI. So this is a global initiative, but executed locally. Um, and the goal is really to work with local schools and teachers 
uh, to inspire you know, school-age children to learn more about uh, science, technology, engineering, and math um, uh, careers. So in, 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 that, uh, in that program, CGI provides the full curriculum. We'll, we put those curriculum together. We're working collaboration with the schools and the teachers, and our professionals donate time to go and execute uh, the curriculum locally, um, teaching the students about technology and hopefully inspiring them about opportunities in, in STEM fields. And um, we really like doing this in partnership with not just with the schools and the teachers, but with our clients. Uh, we find many of our clients have similar, you know, CSR values that we do. And we really like focusing these, uh, particularly on an underrepresented populations. So there was one great example that I personally was involved in. Uh, we hosted a STEM camp uh, at the American School for the Deaf uh, in partnership with one of our healthcare clients. So uh, we developed a curriculum which involved in, uh, both the hardware side, was uh, was building computers, uh, and then one on the application side, which is making games. As you can imagine, with with uh, with deaf students, that was a little different. But I can tell you, it was incredibly rewarding. And uh, for many of the students, it was the first time they had any hand-on exposure to IT careers. So uh, we started that STEM at CGI uh, program here in the U.S., uh, but it has since expanded to, as I said, globally to uh, Canada, the United Kingdom, India, France, the Nordics, uh, really most of the footprint that were uh, the CGI is involved in. So it's a, it's a great uh, initiative and one that we'll continue to invest in. Well, guys, it's been wonderful to hear about the work that you're putting in, the initiatives that you're, you're, you're working on, and we do wish you all the very best with them uh, with the rest of the year and beyond. Chile Felix, Senior Strategic Advisor at Teach for All, and Steve Storacci, Senior Vice President of CGI's US East Operations. Thank you very much for joining us today.